we don't know exactly how it affects the heart, but what we have learned and what we are learning is that individuals who drink more sugary drinks or uh, sugar alternative drinks have heart problems. So I think the real question that, that, that is out there is, you know, is this in an association or is this a cause and effect? And I often kind of half-heartedly tell my patients when we talk about association versus an effect is what really is causing heart disease or what do we know is parallel to developing heart disease? People who drink lots of sweetened beverages or artificially sweetened beverages have trouble with cardiovascular disease later in life. And so I think it's a real challenge to try to sort through what is that, what that means, um, and how do we understand it? And there's some ideas out there, but it's not very clear. It is an association that we have to be aware of. Sweetened beverages do play into people's lives as to whether it's you know, I'm home for dinner and I'm going to have a beverage, I'm going to have a soda, I'm going to have a diet soda. You know, I do that with every meal. Why would I not today? You know, so I do think and those are those casual associations that may be playing into what we're describing, but don't fully understand. Yes, having too much wine is not a good thing. You know, um, having a little bit of wine is an okay thing. We've studied that for many years. There is a natural sugar there that you think, okay, what is that? But I would tell you, generally, you would say people who drink wine are usually a bit more health conscious. And maybe it's social economic, maybe it's, you know, habits as well, you know, versus drinking a diet soda I picked up somewhere, um, you know, just because it's available. It's not going to be the ultimate, yes, this is the entire cause of heart disease. And it's not going to be that, well, no, it doesn't play a role. You know, there's going to be some real answer in the middle. Um, and it's going to be, you know, yes, artificial sweeteners are not a good thing. And if you're diabetic and you're hypertensive and you smoke cigarettes and you're overweight and you don't do exercise, you know, it's a one, two, three, four, five factors that contribute to disease. So instead of having no heart disease in your life or heart disease at 60 or heart disease at 55 or 50 or 45, you may have something at 40 if you check, 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 check all those things. I think it really comes back to when we try to cheat nature, we usually cheat ourselves. You know, the quick fix often is detrimental. You need to just drink some water. The right approach is to eat the right amount of calories and eat the right calorie. You know, so this is kind of what we're talking about when we're talking about sodas and artificial sweeteners. Is sugar better than artificial sweetener? It's less calorie, but maybe it's damaging to the cardiovascular system and other systems. That's what we don't know. Um, I do think that there is a there is good evidence that suggests sweetened foods generally are associated with people who had cardiovascular events. But I do think it's a way to identify yourself or for us to help people identify, am I at risk? If you're drinking six and seven drinks a day, you might want to peel it back and say, hey, what am I doing? And take a good evaluation of, you know, hey, am I somebody who's going to be at risk? And maybe that's the take home. I like hanging on to the rule of moderation as a, as a good goal. But, you know, I, I mean, I think you'd, you'd say, well, if we know that something's bad, you probably should avoid it. And if we learn eventually that, you know, these artificial sweeteners and, and sweetened beverages are not good for you, you know, what's the threshold? I don't know. You know, I think you really do have to say moderation is a good approach to things that we're not clear on. Um, and then when we know they're not good, you really should avoid them. Energy drinks does add another layer because what are energy drinks? You know, they're some spiced up marketed beverage that can be sweetened and almost always have artificial sweeteners. So we've taken a soda that's sweetened 
or we've taken a artificially sweetened soda and we've added a whole bunch of other things that we think are healthy, you know, whether it's caffeine, whether it's amino acids or whether it's, you know, some agent that has been promoted, you know, um, and I'm not going to say it's a marketing spin, but there's no question a marketing advantage to selling these with the pretense that it's a good thing to drink if you're thirsty. And so I think some of the concerns are, as you know, for my patients is when you drink these energy drinks, not only you're now getting the questionable sugars or artificial sugars, but now you're getting caffeinated beverages that can cause rhythm problems in some patients or other problems. Associations, I worry about. Moderation, it's important. When we learn the issues, maybe we should avoid those things.